to welcome you to this lunch hour service regarding the Holy Week. My name is Martin Badi Manuki. I'm born again. Christ is my personal savior. Born again through the power of the cross. I thank God for, for you for being able to join me at this wonderful moment when we are celebrating the, or we are anticipating the celebration of the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Before we go further, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this afternoon, O oh God. Gracious Lord, I want to uh, thank you for being so wonderfully gracious to us that Jehovah, you have given us see this wonderful day. Almighty Jehovah, may you speak to your people. As I speak to them, O oh God, may your Holy Spirit reach out to them. May it make the impact that, Lord, you intend to have in your people this afternoon. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Ndugu zangu na washukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kunipatia nafasi nyingine njema ya kuweza kuhubiri neno lake kupitia kwa mitandao ya Facebook na wale ambao wamejiunga nami na mshukuru Mungu kwa sababu najua ya kwamba ni mapenzi yake yanatimia niposa tukaweza kuwa pamoja. Vile vile na mshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya teknolojia ambayo ni mpya ambayo inakuja ambapo naweza kuwafikia watu wote duniani kupitia kwa huu mtandao wa Facebook Today's topic is the cross comes before glory. I would also put it in a different language and say the gloom before the glory. The gloom before the glory. Gloom, or rather, the cross is associated with suffering. The cross is associated with shame. Cross is associated with the serious punishment. Cross is associated with death. A group of 45 convertees of uh, Anglicans or comprising of Anglicans and Catholics in Uganda or in Uganda on the 3rd of June 1886 they were burnt alive in a place called Namugongo. The journey started from a place called Munyonyo on the 26th of May 1886. What makes that journey one of the most spectacular journeys ever made in maybe in the whole of Africa is the type and the reason why the members of the people, the 45 of them, who were going to Namugongo, were going there in the first place. They were going there to be tortured and burnt alive. The story goes like this. Kabaka Mwanga, who was not a straight man, and uh, I mean the straight man is he was allied essentially to an, a, a different uh, orientation, had a number of pages whom he used uh, as his wives or as his sex toys. And this man, Kabaka Mwanga, when, he, when the missionaries came and converted the people, a number of his pages were converted. And because they were converted, they could not now adhere or agree to his wayward behavior and therefore they resisted and refused to be misused. The story again says out of anger and frustration Mwanga summoned the pages and asked those who prayed to stand on one side and those who don't pray on the other side. These most of whom were aged between 15 and 30 years old were taken on a long journey from Munyonyo 
on 20, from 26th of, of May up to Namugongo for, we can say, live cremation. They were cremated while alive. The beauty of it, or the, what is most unique, or one of the most prominent uh, paintings who was among them was um, a young boy called Kizito. Kizito pro uh, produced or displayed one of the most courageous displays of resilience against uh, the, the tortures they were going through as they walked up to, up to Dunamgongo. And this boy has been, has entered into the history and has been canonized, has been uh, 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 canonized into sainthood or was called canonized into sainthood together with others like uh, uh, St. Charles Ranga and several other uh, uh, materials. They, what made the 45 Ugandan materials very famous is, uh, as I've said, bravery that was displayed as they walked the 37 miles from Nyonyo to Namugongo, which is around 50 or, or, or 60 kilometers, to be burnt alive. There cannot be glory without the cross. There will never be glory without the cross. I want us now to go into the Bible reading that is in the book of John, chapter 12, verse 20 to 33. And I'll read. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came therefore to Philip, who was at Bethesda, who was of the of Bethesda of Galilee, and desired of him, saying, Sir, we would we would Sir, we would see Jesus. Philip came and told Andrew, and again Andrew and Philip told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forth fruit, it, it brings forth the fruit. He that loves his life shall lose it, and he that hates his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serves me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serves me, him will my father honor. Now it is now is my soul trouble. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I, I unto this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then came a voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. The people there for that stood and had it said that it is And that said, an angel spoke to him. Jesus answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sake. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the peace of this world be cast out. And if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. This he said, signifying what death he shall, they all should die. Father, reveal your word to your people. Talk to them in the language that they can understand. Because Jehovah, you have appointed this, this hour for that word. As I, 
speak or as I said in the introduction, there cannot be glory without the cross. In the text we have read, Christ was categorical. Unless a grain falls onto the ground and dies, it remains by itself. If you are not able to give up your ways, if you are not able to shed your own, to let your own self die and you watch the cross, then you will remain by yourself. The way of the cross is the great paradox that God created for the salvation of man. I started by telling you the word bloom before glory. In the literary language, or in the language of the literary, they say it is called a, a paradox or an oxymoron. Oxymoron is a word that negates one another instantly, like the black white or the, the, the good bad. The same thing is happening. When you look at the cross, it is in itself an oxymoron. It contradicts, it, it contradicts itself because it contradicts the bad part of the cross with the good things that come out of the cross. The cross being most shameful way or a, a criminal could be killed during the Roman times and before. It meant that anyone who died in this manner was supposed to be condemned and an outcast. Particularly Jews considered it to be the most ungodly person way of punishment. In fact, it was a curse. You look at the book of Deuteronomy 21 verse 23. Cursed is he who is hanged on the cross. The cross is a symbol of painful, shameful death. And is today the irony because whoever looked at it was assured of life. In, uh, uh, in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 14 to 15, when Jesus was discussing with, uh, with, with, the, with the lawyer who visited him, Nicodemus at night, these are the ones he used on verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Look at what is happening. Christ is telling you that if you want to be glorified by God, then there, is, there, are, there are no two ways. There is only one way. That is that of the cross. This is the only way you can be sure or you can be assured of getting into the glory with God. In John chapter 12 verse 32, as we have said, see, Christ is saying, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Christ was lifted from where he was, and he was put on the cross, and all the eyes will follow him, and all those people who saw him, all those people who, 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 who were able to interpret it, then he or they were saved. Cross presents hope of eternal life through Jesus Christ. There can be no glory when you die and you are forgotten. But when you are glorified, when you are able to enter the glory, when you are able to enter the, 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 the paradise, that is the beauty of it all. And I can assure you, it can only be, the glory can only come from this wonderful structure or wonderful symbol called the Holy Cross. To come back to life from the trajectory of destruction, one has to agree to die on one side to come back to life on the other side. Many people are on the trajectory of destruction. There are people who are looking for a way of trying to help themselves. There are people who are completely overwhelmed by the, by the, the, the vulgarism and the 
complications of the world. This is the only way you can find glory and you can, be, you can share the glory with him who went through it. Over the time, the symbol of the cross has been used to mean various things. The red cross used this symbol to signify peace. The United Nations World Health Organization uses the symbol of the cross with a serpent on it to symbolize healing. The crusaders of the medieval times used the symbol of the, 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 the cross, the symbol of the cross on a sword to mean liberation. Most of the Egyptian, Egyptian Orthodox believers they use a tattoo somewhere on their body of a cross to signify their identity. It is important to know that a cross is not a child. You know, there are people, the other day I saw a person using a cross, a crucifix that he had on his, uh, on his, uh, on his chest, and he was trying to do some things on another person in more of like a, a ratio. The cross cannot be used as a charm. The cross cannot be used as a as a way as a symbol of making money. The cross cannot be used as a symbol of authority so that you oppress others. The cross cannot be used as a symbol of prosperity. The symbol cannot be used as a symbol of acquiring wealth. The, the cross cannot be used as a symbol of anything else except to glorify the person who decides or who follows Christ as he is lifted on the cross and where he gets or he wins the glory. The cross cannot be used as a form of witchcraft. There are some people who use the cross or who have misused the cross to beat at us so that they exercise demons. Crosses don't exercise demons. A cross is the one that is written in your heart. The cross is the one that is written in your, in your soul. The cross is the one that reminds you that unless you die, and uh, unless you accept to see the room so that you can be glorified, Jesus Christ will not recognize you by carrying the cross. There are those people who carry the cross and think that the cross by carrying it like this, they will be able to ward off problems and they enter into public places, whether in witchcraft or whatever, and they go and, and, and jumping around. The cross signifies gloom for them. So, many people misuse the cross. And I hope my viewer, as you are watching it, don't ever try to interpret the cross in a way that you are not familiar with. To conclude, let us read the book of First Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 18 to 25. Paul was writing to the Corinthians. The Corinthians were inquisitive people. The Corinthians were people who were who did not want to be convinced easily. And therefore Paul is writing a disappointed letter, or a letter expressing some disappointment, telling them, please, be it known to you that for preaching on the cross, that is verse 18, chapter 1 verse 18, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us who are saved, it is the power of God. 
For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and I will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Has not God made foolish of the wisdom of this world? For since the king, the wisdom of God, the one by wisdom knew not God, it pleased God for the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them who are called, both the Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Listen to this. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Brother, there are those men or young men, the pages of the Kabaka Mwanga, who walked 60 kilometers to be to be burnt alive, to be to be cremated alive. I don't know what was going through their minds, but I can see something that was going through their minds. They saw glory beyond their suffering. They, their eyes were lifted because they saw the Son of Man on the symbol of hope, on the symbol of glory. I don't know what you have been watching the, the cross pass. So many people who even wear crosses uh, all over the place. But they are still people who are having nightmares in the, at night because they are not able to comprehend what is happening in the world. There are those who are carrying the cross and are hoping that it is going to work off their sufferings and all that without knowing that the one who went to the cross is the one who is going to bring you back to life. Men and women of God, the cross is given free. And the wisdom of the cross is given free to those who are ready to take care of it, to accept it and to be saved through it. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word. Gracious Master, we thank you for reminding us there is always a glory beyond the gloom. And that for Jehovah Jireh, I pray that your word shall germinate in your people's hearts. Let your wisdom be on them. Let the glory and honor return to you because it does not belong to any of us. And let the cross be the symbol of hope. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.